So in one of our previous videos back in the summer of last year, I talked about building a automatic wood sift or a wood chip sifter. Um, right now we've used just this wood chip sifter on top of the wheelbarrow. You just slide it back and forth. But I'm not gonna do an automatic one, I'm just gonna do a freestanding one that takes like no effort pretty much. What I'm gonna do is hang this, this existing wood sifter from the top of our barn up here. And that way it'll be floating in air, hanging by ropes or chain or whatever, over our wheelbarrow. We can load our wood chips on top of it and just move it back and forth. It takes no actual like physical strength, I guess, to pick it up or anything. We can just shake it back and forth while it's holding all, all of its own weight. I think that's gonna be the easiest and simplest way to make a somewhat automatic wood sifter. And for also pretty much free. Only thing I've bought so far is these eye boats. And I'll probably have to buy some small ones to put here also. I'll probably put four on there and get some like, carabiner clips on two of them. That way if I had to, or if I wanted to, I could dump it out. I guess you'd probably always have to. Um, but these are going to go on the roof here, on these beams. There we go. That was easy. Just drilled two pilot holes and then screwed these eye bolts in. Now we just got to hang some rope or chain from them and mount our wood sifter. Good morning, guys. I just fed Minnie here and all the chickens. Um, I fed Moose. Fixing to go let him out so he can run around. Hopefully he won't try to get to Minnie too bad. Hey, buddy. Hey, Moose. You want some bread? Hey, this is Beverly's sourdough bread that didn't go as planned. You want some? There you go. There you go. Hey, you want free? You want free moose? Hey, come here. Just don't get to, don't try to get with many, okay? There you go, buddy. Is that good? I think that's a yes. I, tr I gave them all their medicine this morning and Moose ate all of his. Uh, Minnie didn't eat all of hers, so we'll try to give her the rest of it this evening. You like that, Moose? First thing I'm gonna do this morning is this, um, on our barn here, these eye boats that I put up the other day on Saturday. I'm going to finish hanging up that um, wood chip sifter. So hopefully I can finish that today. First thing I'm going to do is on our sifter here, I've got these small eye boats. I'm just going to screw them down to the corners. And that's what we'll hang it from. So I've just got a small drill bit here. Here, I'm going to drill down into the wood, not real far, because that eye boat's not very long. Should be good there. That was only maybe an inch. Let's see. Let's grab my boat here. I'm gonna drill you a pilot hole so it ain't you ain't forcing this um, eye boat into the wood here. It'd be super hard on you. That's going in pretty easy. If it gets hard, just get your screwdriver and use it as leverage to screw the eye boat in for you. There we go. There's one in. Three more to go. So there we go. They got all the eye boats put on there. As you can see, it's all four of them there. Now we've got these little carabiner clips. That way, we just put those on there like that. 
and the rope will be tied to these and we can unrope it anytime we want. So to hang my rope up, up here the best way, I need to have my boats going like that. If I was smart, I would have figured that out from the get go. It's going to be plenty long enough. The short one, I'm not too sure about. Mm. Yeah, I think it'll work. So I think it's, this is going to do it. I've got it. It says it's level. Um, I should be able to just put the wood chips on here, move it back and forth, me or Beverly. It would be really easy for her to do it. Um, it looks really simple. I just need to tighten my um, ropes down better, cut off the ends. I think it's going to work pretty well. Yeah, I got my super awesome custom homemade knife here from a guy in Oakdale where we live. He's actually a preacher. My father-in-law got me this. Um, I'm going to cut off probably that much. That way it leaves us some slack. I know y'all are wiggling around, but I've got you sitting on this um, wood sifter here. Get me a lighter and burn these ends just so it doesn't keep unraveling. Alright, now I gotta do this for the other three. And I think we'll be ready. There we go, guys. I think it's finished. Let's go load up this wheelbarrow full of wood chips and see how this does. Hey, Minnie. Hey, girl. Good girl, aren't you? you good girl. You wish you were out helping, don't you? Yeah, you do. Alright. Go back in. Go back in. Okay, so I've got this cart full. And I emptied my wheelbarrow. So, we'll use this as our big chips. And then put the smaller sifted chips in the wheelbarrow. I guess it's probably best to have two actual wheelbarrows, but this will do for now. There we go. Go grab the wheelbarrow. We've actually seen this design on I think YouTube somebody's video they made this we were gonna make like a I was thinking like a gas powered wood sifter using a lawnmower having it like jacked up with its tire and tire in there just having a belt and kind of like a cam system with some gears going to a sifter table that would shake back and forth. That was not very simple. There's moose back. And this is way more simple and cheaper. Alright, here we go. Let's try this. I'm touching my wheelbarrow right now. I think I'm going to have to make it higher. Right now I'm dragging in my wheelbarrow. It's just a little too low. Um, so first try, I'm hitting my wheelbarrow once with it loaded down and it kind of needs sides on it probably. So I think I'm going to need to put some sides here so none of this stuff falls off. So I need to make it higher and put sides on it. Nice. 
They're nasty. Look at that. Do you like it? You think you're cool? Hmm? You think you're cool because you're nasty? You feel like a farm dog? Hmm? Alright, I got this raised up. I didn't put any sides on it or anything yet, but I think it's going to help a lot. It'll get me closer up here instead of bending way over. And it's got it way away from the wheelbarrow. So let's try this and see how it works. Can help, Moose? So that worked a lot better, but I think it definitely going to need some sides, that way... What are you doing, Moose? That way, all the stuff doesn't fall out of it. But I think it's going to work. How the ropes are, with them not tied at the top, you can tilt it back and forth however you need to, so... I think that may be a better solution than having them tied. Put your collar on. Your pretty collar. Who picked that one out? <laughs> if you're a dog, is that the car you would want? <laughs> you found it though. Uh, you're like, this is totally you. <laughs> Tighten it down. <laughs> I think that's a good, I think that's good. You can feel and make sure, but. This is how it goes, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's good though. There you go. You're nice yeah. and pretty now. You can barely see it, but <laughs> it's pretty. Hey, Minnie, sit. Good girl. Shake. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just hop her. You just need to go for a walk. You need to go for a walk. You ready? <laughs> this is like, I'm ready. Okay, you're on your leash, little lady. Easy. Annie. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah. <laughs> you called me a little. That's funny. <laughs> Moose. What you doing, buddy? What you doing? Y'all tied up? So I think I have a system starting to get down with the wood sifter here. So I've got a wheelbarrow under it. This um, gorilla cart. And I've got a five gun bucket. And I load up my bucket, pour it on there, it goes into the wheelbarrow, and then the big stuff goes into the gorilla cart. Once I'm done sifting, I pile it up here on the, I put down some um, cardboard boxes, that way it's just not all in the grass and everything. And I can place it around the garden where I know I'm going to need it. So instead of, I see a new rip in the here. Huh. Moose has been out today, but I haven't seen him on the tarp at all. What well, if that could be some other kind of critter? I don't know. Anyways, I can put these little piles around the garden so whenever we're building the garden in the spring, it's right there instead of going to one pile back and forth like I'm having to do right now. So at the bucket, I really need a second wheelbarrow. I guess I need some kind of third, third wheelbarrow or cart. But with my bucket, I just go over here to my wood chip pile until I get me another cart. I guess I'll be using this bucket. I just go to my wood chip pile 
get some more chips four bucket and one scoop how'd you like that come walk over here with a bucket load it'll be a lot better with another wheelbarrow and now pour some of these chips onto here now I'll take my bucket of wood chips put them on here start sifting I'm not having to put any weight like I'm not having to pick anything up Pretty much the most the uh, most of the sifted stuff is sifted out now. Then dump it to the right into my griddle cart. So there's the whole bucket empty. it that's one bucket load you can see how much I don't know if you can see or not you can see in here how much that did one kind of good thing about this setup as the, the chips move around I can tilt it up and down to get them moving back to where I want them to um, if they ever get go on one side I do have to lift it up that's the only kind of weight I'm putting on myself, I guess. Other than that, I'm just moving it back and forth, and it's holding all the weight. Then I'm putting weight on myself when I do this. But there's not much left when I do that. So, main thing I need is a, is a third cart to make this process a lot easier. Just one bucket load of times not doing that much. It's a lot of walking for nothing, really. They're a lot of walking for not much. But I'm going to keep doing this and try to get a pile of sifted chips and a pile of the coarse chips, the bigger chips, so we can start planting and building our garden in the spring. Thanks for watching. I believe that wraps up my wood, um, wood chip sifter. Hopefully we can get a lot more piles of these out here soon and we can start building our garden. Thanks for watching and check back next time to see what me and Beverly's doing on our homestead. Bye.